Hello everybody. Um, I'm a little scared to start today's video. Not scared, I'm excited, but I'm also a little bit apprehensive because if you know anything about me, if you watch my videos, you know that for the most part I read happy, fun, fluffy, cute, new adult romance. <laughs> that's like my comfort zone, that's what I like and enjoy. So I kind of stray away from dark romance. I actually don't really know why. Maybe just because I feel more comfortable reading, talking about, recommending happier books because my job is recommending books. Sometimes it's harder when it comes to recommending books with heavy topics, triggering topics, things like that. I think that's the main reason I stray away from reading dark romance. But today, I am starting a week of reading only dark romance and I have collected a fair selection based on some recommendations from you guys that I've seen over the years, some recommendations from my friends from things they've posted about because I do want to enjoy these books and I think that I will. I think there's a very high chance I will enjoy books. I'm not super super picky when it comes to romance. I have a large selection to choose from this week because I'm a mood reader. I like to just like pick as I go based on what I'm feeling. So we're gonna see what I end up reading from the stack. Don't think we'll read all of these. We'll probably read like five, six, seven. Seven maybe. Probably five if we're being honest. I'm looking forward to it because in the past that I have read dark romance, I have a stack right here. Actually, I wanted to show you. I have a stack right here of some of the dark romances I have read. There's like a series in here. I think this is um the Born and Blood Mafia series and then I have Corrupt by Penelope Douglas and the Mindfuck series. So I love how there's like a color scheme and I dressed for the color scheme by accident. Like everything is only black and red. Anyway though, I wanted to say that the idea for this video got sparked because I was talking to my friend about what I like to read. She really, really likes dark romance and I was like, yeah, it's not my thing. And then she's like, didn't you read the Mindfuck series? And I was like, yeah, I love the Mindfuck series. And she's like, that is literally the definition of dark romance. And I was like, you're kind of right because this was in my top three favorite books of 2022. I ate this up. I loved every second of it and it was dark. It was twisted. It was gory. It was gruesome and it was amazing to me. And then I was thinking about it. I'm like, wait, maybe I do like dark romance and I just stray away from it because I'm a little nervous. And then I'm reminded of when I read Corrupt by Penelope Douglas and I hated every single second of it. Remember when I first read this book like four years ago, I thought there was something wrong with me because everyone talks so highly of it. I have very strong negative feelings towards this book. I don't like the darkness in this book. Like there was such a difference between these two books to me. And so I was like, why is that? I wanna talk about that in this video so you guys like know what I like versus what I don't like when I'm talking about these books because there's probably books in here that I'm not gonna love. But basically there's like this line for me when I'm reading books, not like a moral line, but like kind of, of like, I'm fine with all the darkness of like the mafia, even with the Mindfuck series, like the murder and the killing and all that stuff I can read about and it doesn't affect me. You can see why they're doing what they're doing. And then there's a line where it goes to the other side where I don't like it and that's when the characters are either just mean, evil, nasty, terrible, bad intentions. That's when I don't like it. Yes, the character in the Mindfuck series was a serial killer, but she was doing it for revenge, she was doing it for a reason, and you could sympathize with her because as you went through the story, you started being like, you started rooting for her. That's when I like it, when you can see in their head and you're like, I understand why they're doing what they're doing. But when I was reading Corrupt, first of all, I just didn't like the writing of it. I thought like, I just didn't connect with the characters. I didn't like it. And I felt like the boys, the friend group was so not redeemable. Like nothing, like everything they did was so dramatic, so uncalled for, so mean and so nasty. I hated the way that they treated and talked about women. Like they hurt women. <laughs> that is like a moral line that I don't like, you know? Like something about that, I just couldn't look past it. And the whole time I was reading, I was like, I hate the guy in this book. I don't even want them to be together. I don't even feel like they love each other that much. But that is basically me explaining my what I like versus what I don't like in dark romance. So when you see me reading these books and having reactions in this video, you kind of know like what I prefer. So yeah, basically my whole goal with this video is to find a book that makes me feel the way duplicity on Wattpad made me feel two years ago. Have been chasing the high that that book has given me for years. Nothing's ever compared. And that one I think I would consider dark. And I've been trying to find something to replicate that and I think this is the time that I, if anything I'm gonna find it now when I'm reading all of these books back to back. Let's pick our first book of this video. I think I want to start up top with like a small standalone just to go in kind of lightly, dip my toe in the water. I have up here Still Beating by Jennifer Hartman which I've been recommended a lot by you guys. You told me 
me that this was a dark romance I'd probably like. It's super emotional. I have no idea what it's about, but I did read the companion book to this, which was Lotus. It's not a dark romance, but the characters are connected to these characters, and I loved that book. It was like innocent boy, childhood friends, except he had been kidnapped and it was him after captivity coming back to the real world after escaping and he knows the characters from this book because I'm pretty sure they were in a support group because these characters are also kidnapped. I have no idea what to expect but I think this is going to be like the lighter of the darkness. I don't actually don't quote me on that. I have no idea what this is about but her other book was so sweet and wholesome that I feel like this is a good starting point point. and then we'll get into more of these series. I have Haunting Adeline in here which <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna feel but I'm kind of really excited to find out. I'll keep you guys like semi-updated. This is going to be spoiler free for the most part. As I read, I'm going to be like giving my kind of reactions without spoiling plot points. Everything I talk about in this video is stuff that you can find on the back of the book or within the first like two chapters. And at the end of this video, I'll give like my final thoughts, recommendations, what I like, didn't like, and all that. So let's spend the week together reading dark romance. Let's hope this doesn't send me into like some kind of spiral. Who knows? Maybe I'll become a dark romance enthusiast. I'm going to start reading now. <laughs> okay, I've literally just started reading. I'm in chapter one and she just got kidnapped. <laughs> her sister's fiance was picking her up from a bar. They hate each other. And then they just got kidnapped right out of the car in the first chapter. It's gonna be their romance? <laughs> what? Okay, I've been reading quite a lot and this is very, very dark and very like sickening and disturbing. Like when I read dark romance in the past, it was because it was like violent with like killing people, but not in the way that this is like disturbing. Like they're kidnapped in a basement and I'm not gonna spoil it, but look up the trigger warnings and it's so graphic, the things that are happening to them. I literally feel sick to my stomach and I don't get like triggered easily. So the fact that I feel so like unsettled and like disturbed says a lot. What? This somehow got even more gross. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. What is this? No way are they gonna be able to fall in love like a normal couple. Like this is obviously gonna be like a trauma bond. I can't believe how quickly it's moving. I'm only this far in and it's already so, so disturbing. I don't know what even the other half is gonna be. This is nothing like Lotus, the other book I read. I think I might be out of like the trenches. I got to part two, which is like a third of the way in maybe, a fourth of the way. I think it will stop being as disturbing oh it's in the boy's point of view now i think the like dark part of the romance is over obviously not the characters are traumatized but it's like a little bit later after they just experienced this terrible disgusting trauma i think it's gonna be easier to read for the rest of this but now it's just like how is this gonna be a romance as i expected this is definitely very toxic but i'm like flying through this book it's only been a few hours and i'm like halfway Okay, I'm at part three. The sun is starting to set, which means I've been reading for a very decent amount of time. These people are very deeply traumatized. This was so much darker than I thought it was going to be. I feel like this is such a good quote. I wanted to show you guys. I just highlighted it. I mean, if you don't want to read it because you don't like any spoilers, then don't read it. But it's a good quote. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm at like eight months later. I literally have that much left. I've read this all in one sitting. I feel like that was actually a very necessary time jump. And now that I've read it, I have like two chapters left. It was like 25% dark, twisted, and sickening to your stomach. And like 75% the healing from that. How the trauma affected them throughout their life. Rather than the whole thing being dark. I mean, obviously the themes are dark throughout. But the romance itself isn't the dark. Okay, first dark romance book finished in one sitting. Overall, I think I'd probably give this three stars out of five, not even because of the darkness. I just think I didn't really like love the concept of the story, but not because it was dark. It's just the actual plot I didn't love as much. Look up the trigger warnings 100%. It is very graphic and disturbing. I liked the relationship, but I wish, I wish it wasn't with the sister's fiance. I feel like they could have avoided that whole trope. I don't really like the whole tearing a family apart vibes. <laughs> like it could have just been like her friend. It could have been anyone besides the sister's fiance. I didn't like that part of it. That part kind of just the whole time I was like, I don't even really want them to be together because it feels wrong. Yeah, not my favorite. I would recommend it if you can stomach traumatic books. So first book of this video is done. I'm trying to decide if I should start another one tonight. Yeah. I should. <laughs> but I'm gonna like stop for a little bit and give my brain a break. Okay, hi. It's a lot later now. It's actually like almost midnight right now. Oh no, it's not. It's 1022. I'm a little dramatic. But I think I'm gonna start the one that I was most excited for for this whole video. So I'm gonna read The Predator by... I feel like I'm saying this wrong. 
runix is how i say it in my head i don't know if that's right this is the first book i think i'll only read the first one i don't know actually is it like about one couple or is it is it multiple couples let me look okay wait the second one is about the same couple and then the third one's a different couple so we'll see if this ends on like a cliffhanger or if i if this one like ends on a pretty like wrapped up note maybe i'll move on but if it ends on a cliffhanger which i'm assuming it does if it's the same couple then maybe i'll read both the font is like huge in these books so i'm hopefully i'll be able to like breeze through it i have a feeling i'm gonna love this it's mafia dark romance and every mafia-esque book i've read i loved and like i said earlier i've been trying to find something that reminds me of duplicity for the past like two years and i've never found anything that compares so maybe this will give me the same vibe i read the back of this one so like i kind of know it's about a guy in one mafia and then the daughter of the rival mafia i think so it's gonna give enemies to lovers and i'm so excited i'm gonna lay down and read this and hopefully not fall asleep but let's start the first book of the dark verse series oh my god i already have butterflies she is sneaking into his house in the middle of a party to try to kill him. This is gonna be even better than I thought. It's gonna be actual enemies to lovers and she's gonna be a badass. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I can already tell he's so hot. <laughs> Guys, I already love it and I'm on page 26. The only thing I'm not loving about this is that it's in third person point of view, but it's not like very third person-y. We're only in the girl's head, Miranda. We're in her point of view, but it's from the third perspective. So they say her name, but like we're in her head. You know what I mean? Like, we don't see anything that's going on in Tristan's head. Oh my god. The way that this whole book so far has just been back and forth. Them running into each other and trying to kill each other. But, like, do they actually want to kill each other? No. I'm trying, like, not to spoil anything. Because I feel like there's, like, an actual plot starting here. Something about a grown man who doesn't speak very often like he only speaks when spoken to it is just so hot like i prefer this type of character so 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 much to like the golden retriever type character i actually just don't prefer any book that has like quirky girl quirky boy trope i already don't really love especially if they're like super outgoing class clown vibes like the more serious badass characters are always my favorite and both of them are so that like i love him even though he's like kind of petrifying and could probably like murder anyone with his bare hands i'm assuming that dante's book is going to be with amara i just met her and i can feel some tension between them and i think it's like childhood friends to lovers you might read that in this vlog <laughs> i'm assuming it's gonna be a slow burn because i'm almost 100 pages in and there hasn't even been like an inkling of romance i mean you can feel the tension between them but like neither of them are gonna crack anytime soon like they are still on the very i hate you vibes even though it doesn't really seem like he hates her when he's protecting her like this <clears throat> this quote no one else gets to kill you he spoke quietly the last face you see before you die will be mine <laughs> her dad i do not like her dad he gives me terrible vibes oh well, every interaction they have which is like every chapter i have the utmost butterflies this is so good i'm on page 106 Oh my god, I've been reading for over an hour. I've been very engrossed. I feel like I'm watching a whole movie right now. This is just so easy to read. This is exactly what I wanted. Like a dark romance that's easy to read because it's not dark in the disturbing way yet. I don't know what's coming. It's dark in like the, like, the essence of like the mafia. There's killing and stuff. This is more entertaining. Oh my god, she's gonna have to spend the night at, her, at his house. I just love that you can tell he has such a soft spot for her like she doesn't realize it but this is exactly the void of like the duplicity feeling i was looking for they are currently having their first soft moment i'm this far in i'm getting really tired oh my god i'm almost halfway i'm getting tired but like i want to keep reading imagine i finished two books today he followed her to the bathroom i just finished that scene <laughs> I think we're about to get a who did this to you trope though. I love when I'm right. I think I'm gonna stop because it's after midnight. Luckily, I have like nothing planned this whole week. Like it's just dedicated to like this video. So hopefully I'll be able to grind out a lot of books, but I am like basically exactly halfway. I'm on page 193. So yeah, we'll continue tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. I just had a wonderful sleep thinking about Tristan Kane, and I'm ready to start reading again. I haven't even gotten out of bed yet. I literally just woke up and I was like, you know what time it is. I love how he's like obsessed with her, but he like barely speaks, but like we still know. What I'm really enjoying about this book is that there is so much more of a plot than just the romance. Like 
I can tell there's like some deep secretive shit going on and I really like that like trying to figure out what's going on with like some action some story and the romance is still overarching over the whole thing but when I like compare it to duplicity like that's what I mean like having a whole plot and like action and suspense but the romance still spans over the whole thing it's not like a subplot I need to know what this alliance is what happened to it this whole mystery the thing with the codes like She's riding on his motorcycle on the back of it with him driving. <laughs> We're talking about like the kidnapped missing girls and I'm starting to think that's where the dark, disturbing, twisted stuff is gonna start really coming in. Oh, why do I wanna cry? I can't believe he actually just did that. But also, I can't believe what she did. <laughs> I can't say anything. The fact that she didn't speak because she knew it was like an intimate moment. She risked dying. Oh my god. I love this because it's so slow burn. Like I'm, I only have that much left and he's still talking about killing her. So I'm assuming they're not gonna admit they're in love in this many pages. So is this gonna be a slow burn that drags out over two books? If so, I'm very excited. Like that actually is better than if they would end up together and then the next book is just them together. I was hoping it wasn't that. So I'm really hoping that it's two books slow burn. This is just like a prequel. I feel like the plot is just really thickening now. I was literally about to say anytime she goes anywhere by herself, which is not very often, but anytime she does, I get so much anxiety because so many people want her dead. <laughs> and if I was like somehow linked to the mafia, I don't think I would ever go anywhere alone because the anxiety this is giving me she's at the graveyard right now by herself and her dad just called her and was like i know you're alone what the fuck i'm scared how do they know everything oh my god her car amara's gonna start telling her tristan's entire backstory tristan's point of view when he was eight years old oh god what this is not what i was expecting this is not why i thought he hated her tristan just got to the graveyard and he's looking at her car <gasps> i knew that was gonna happen is this the ending? This has to be the ending. <laughs> I finished. It's been like three hours, two hours and 40 minutes since I woke up and I literally have not moved from this position. Oh my God, that was so good. I think I give this five stars. It could just be because I'm in the hype right now. Do I read the second one? I feel like I have to read the second one. <laughs> Maybe I'll read the second one and I'll just like update less, but I have to read the second one I'm sorry. That was like it, it wasn't a cliffhanger, but I there's so many unanswered questions. I have okay I'm gonna go eat relax for a bit and then I think I'm gonna come back and start the Reaper I don't know if that's a good idea. Am I gonna get sucked into reading the whole series? I don't know even if it's a cliffhanger I'll stop and move on to something new for the video, but I'm sorry. I just can't right now. Okay. It's a little bit later I made some tea I'm getting ready to binge read this. It's actually pretty long, so it literally takes off as soon as the last one ended. They're in the car after that whole cemetery scene. I'm so excited. This scene reminds me of Shatter Me, of him smiling for the first time and her noticing that he has a dimple. She just watched the footage of him confronting her dad. <laughs> I think I can tell like she's in love with him now after seeing that. I mean, I'm in love with him. I was in love with him before seeing that, but even more now. Not her running to hug him as soon as he walks in the door. They've never hugged before. I think I'm gonna stop reading. I'm so tired. <laughs> read so much. I'm almost halfway. I read a lot today. I read half of The Predator and half of The Reaper, so like a full book again. I'll see you tomorrow when I finish this book and start the next one. I'm excited for tomorrow for what we're gonna start. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I just woke up, took a shower, had my breakfast and coffee. Now I'm here to pick up where I left off and hopefully finish the reaper great a man just came up to her at the party and is like someone's trying to murder her tonight great i thought we were in the clear because tristan like helped her and then she went to her room and gets attacked again <laughs> now she's running oh tristan's on his way dante called him he's like you need to get here now they're so cute i love them together like their relationship development has been so good recently like he brought her to his house finally oh my god and we're getting a nightmare trope right now it was just too good tristan low-key just like me for making her jealous on purpose to see if she'd have a reaction <laughs> but her dad or like not her dad or her dad <laughs> what okay i officially finished and i feel like it's like a good place where i can like stop and move on from this series for now i loved this series so far as five stars exactly what i like when it comes to like dark romance the slow burn of it all too just it really did it for me so i'm excited to read the emperor soon which is dante's book but not right now let's move on to something else 
I think I really don't want to read this series and the fact that I don't want to read it is like not I feel like good content for the video because I'm apprehensive and you know when you're apprehensive going into something you like have preconceived notions about it like it automatically makes you not like it so I feel like I shouldn't read this but I know you guys want me to read it so bad and I want to like it so I want to give it a second chance and that's the rest of the Devil's Night series so I have them here I really just wanted to get to Kill Switch because it's like the redemption of the evil character from the first book and so I thought that was interesting and I thought it'd be good for this video so that means I'll have to read Hideaway right now and then we can read Kill Switch after so I think I'm gonna try to give this a chance this is Kai's book I don't even really remember him I'm gonna take a break because I've been reading now for a while oh my god the font is so small if I don't like this though this is right in my back pocket so we can always come back to this I'll be back and we'll start Hideaway okay it's a little bit later now and I'm gonna try to start Hideaway <laughs> I'm gonna start I'm not even gonna try I am gonna start there's no way that I like it. I already hate it. Why, as a man, are you putting on a mask and attacking and scaring a young woman for fun? Your friend? His friend's girlfriend at that. He's hiding in this dungeon, waiting for Rika to come down. And then she does, he attacks her. He jumps on her and pins her to the floor. And he has a mask on so she doesn't know who he is. And he's like getting off on the fact that he's scaring her. And I'm supposed to like him? He's a horrible person. There's like, how do you, I don't, under... I don't like it. I hate it. She's literally begging for him to stop. Like, no, please crying. And he's like loving it. <laughs> I hate it. Do I really have to read this? Okay, I'm gonna give it a few more chapters. Maybe get to like the start of like, meeting the love interest or something. I'm on page 45. Got the flashback scene of him meeting what is obviously gonna be the love interest, Banks. The boys are taught, the four boys, it's a flashback from six years ago. And the guy, what's his name? Kai is like, I kept my smile to myself. Michael talked about women the same way he talked about cheeseburgers. It was really as easy as that. And then Will, the other friend who has a book in the series as well says why would he want her when we have top shelf chicks in our car right now didn't you see how she was dressed no makeup guys clothes she's a feminist and then kai goes i thought you liked the hard to get ones like what i'm supposed to like these men like they don't even like women like this isn't the dark romance i like like the dark romance i like is when there's a dark plot not when the characters are just fucking dickheads and unlikable <sighs> do i keep going I want to push through. I want to try. Guys, I'm struggling so bad to get through this. I'm on page 90. Now Kai's not as bad, but Damon is here, like, in the flashbacks. I didn't realize how he was connected to the girl. He is awful and terrible and disgusting and how... I, I just can't even fathom that he gets his own book and I would have to read it and, and it would be his redemption because there's no way that you can be redeemed. Like, this is his personality. This is how he speaks, especially about women. I, I don't want to read his book anymore. Like, it's so gross. He's talking to his literal sibling and literally calling her a whore and saying that all women are good for is sex. If she ever lets a man touch her, he'll kill her. Like, ew. How does anyone enjoy reading this? I feel like physically sick reading this. I feel more sick reading this than the fucking mafia books where they're murdering people. Like, I don't want to read this. Hey guys, it's the next day, a little later in the afternoon. I ended up falling asleep last night without updating you, but I'm gonna read a few chapters right now because I have some time. I still don't really like it. We're trying, we're trying. <laughs> okay, you lost me. It absolutely lost me. I, I I don't think I can read it. I think that was my last straw. I'm so grossed out. I like, don't know what to say. It's not a spoiler. So this is going to be a little bit spoilery, like a little bit. If you don't want like anything spoiled for you, then I would just like skip a little bit ahead like 30 seconds a minute ahead but if you don't care then listen how is damon's character going to be redeemed first of all he tried to murder his best friend i already couldn't get over that then you're telling me his relationship with banks is not incestuous i'm sorry i can't read this it's so gross i don't understand why he's so protective over her like in a, not even in like a sibling way like i have two brothers okay i know what a brother sister relationship should be like he's so protective over her and won't let her go by any guys. He calls her a whore the second she was alone with a guy. And then he just caught her with Kai, like whatever, at this party. No one knows they're related. And he's inferring, he's making all of his friends think that they're a couple, him and his sister, so that they'll stay away from her. And he smacks her ass and says, I can't even say it out loud. Basically, it's nice that I get to have like a pure girl all to myself. Makes her say in front of everyone that she loves him. Kisses her forehead smacks her on the ass and says go to my room and wait there i might want a piece when i get home whenever that will be then he looks at the boys and says no one else touches her not ever about his sister he smacked his sister's ass made everyone think that they have sex because no one knows that they're related <laughs> i think that was um 
my signed DNF. I'm sorry, that is just fucking weird. I don't want to read his book. I don't want to even read this book because like that's just so, so, so gross and weird and not something I want to read. All the characters in this, no one is likable. They're all weird. They're all weird. The boys are disgusting. It's not even like I can look past it and be like, it's a dark romance. It's like, I can't look past it. I'm done here. I tried. I tried to give it a chance, okay? I read nine chapters. This series, I hate it, <laughs> okay? And you know, this scares me because I thought this, <laughs> which is my next book, um, Haunting Adeline, was gonna be the worst one. So if I thought that was awful, I'm a little bit scared for this. We're gonna try. <laughs> okay, it's nighttime now. I ended up taking a really long break since the last time I was reading. Let's start reading. I'm gonna go into it with the mindset of not like, this is gonna be a cute romance because it's obviously a stalker which is not cute, <laughs> but I'm gonna go into the mindset of this is gonna be a good story, an entertaining story that keeps me on my toes. And he's crazy, he's crazy. <laughs> like I expected him to be crazy, but like he is crazy, like creepy and crazy. And like, how is this gonna turn into a romance? I'm also confused by these like letters that are at the end of every chapter. No, no, because this girl, no offense, Adeline, dumb as rocks. <laughs> If there is a weird man standing outside your house and she's like, eh, I don't want a bodyguard. I don't not want to ask for help. I don't want to burden anybody. I'm just going to stay here and sleep here. Oh, I know someone's been breaking in my house every night, but I don't want them to see that I'm scared and I'm just going to stay here. You got me fucked up. You have to, I would be running to my best friend or my sibling's house. I'm not sleeping in my own house if there's someone breaking in every night. Is that not common sense? I love how she's like reading her great grandma's like journals and she's like, that woman's crazy. She, how could she fall in love with her stalker? That could never be me. And we all know that's about to be her. <laughs> See, this is where they get me. He is a crazy stalker. Can't change that about him. He is stalking her. That is wrong. But now I'm in his point of view and his job is literally fighting criminals who work in a pedophilia ring. He says, I created an entire organization built solely around ending human trafficking. I started out as a hacker, exposing the truths of our corrupt government, blah, blah, blah. So he is like a bad guy, but he is a good guy. He kills people, he kills pedophiles, but then he's also stalking her. <laughs> and like, this is very, very gory and very gruesome and very detailed. Like, I, I don't need all that detail about him stabbing. Like, uh, it's only 10.37, but I'm fucking tired and I want to turn my lights off and go to bed. I read this much though. I have read enough. I'm equal parts intrigued and disturbed. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day and I'm ready to continue reading. I had a few meetings this morning. I'm going to read for a little bit. I have a few meetings later today. And then we can spend the night reading too. So I have a little bit to do today. So I don't know how much I'm going to get done. But we're going to try to grind this out. I think the thickest book I've read in this video. And we were at the part where she's about to go home with someone and I'm a little bit scared because the stalker is going to be watching. Oh, <laughs> well, that went exactly as I was expecting. Honestly, worse than I was expecting. The reason I can still enjoy this rather than with hide, what was it, Hideaway? Hideaway, he didn't have a reason for any, like, it wasn't even the main couple that threw me off. It was like Damon. <laughs> like, I just don't like misogynistic gross weird like this i'm like i can see that this is dark this is morally gray wrong whatever and still be able to enjoy it that i just i was like you're just so unlikable i don't even want to read your book like you know what i mean so i think that's the difference for me because i was just like to myself i was like wow so you can read about this guy who murders people but you can't read about a misogynist yeah i think that is <laughs> Maybe that is my line. Why is my girl Addie, why is she not leaving this damn house? Like you are being targeted and stalked by a psychopath and you know that. I'm starting to think she en she's enjoying this. I mean, she is, she kind of is. This one like started losing me cause this, like this is starting to feel a little bit like assault. Not even feel like I think it is. And I don't like that. This scene, I don't know what to think, what is happening, the gun, I have to stop for now. I'm a meeting. I read a lot. Okay guys, I'm back. It's actually a lot later than I wanted it to be. I thought I was gonna get to finish tonight and that is not the case because I'm gonna be tired soon. We can continue reading anyways, so I'll keep you updated. I forgot where I left off and this is... <laughs> I opened the book, I'm like, whoa! I haven't updated you guys in a while. I'm far in now. <laughs> whoa! This is some steamy shit. Like, I'm sitting here breaking a sweat reading this shit. Like, whoa! 
this mark guy is giving me very bad vibes and he has eyes for addy now and i just know it's gonna make zade go crazy i'm gonna go to sleep now i'm on chapter 25 i i've made a decent progress this is a thick book i think i'll be able to finish tomorrow i mean i still have a lot left i'm on page 336 and there's 583 so i still have like 250 pages this is a long book good morning it's time to read it's day six of this video which means tomorrow's the last day which i'm gonna try to grind this out i need to finish this today so that i can try to fit in one more book tomorrow so i don't have a lot the thing is i don't have a lot of time today i actually have stuff to do which is so annoying oh my god they're like having a soft moment she's like definitely in love with him girl that's the man that used to terrorize you sneak in your house break in wait outside your windows murdered people threatened you scared you but like why do i kind of ship them what <laughs> this whole like storyline with like the pedophile ring is really gross disturbing and very dark like this is this like kind of sick shit where you're like i don't even want to read about this not him having her body count list of men memorized like he knows every man she's ever slept with off the top of his head. Ew, Zayd is right now like pretending to like fit in with these like gross men so that he can, I don't know, like be on the inside to take them down. And he's having to like pretend to also be a pedo. And it's so disturbing. Like the things that these men are saying about children. Ugh. I'm gonna stop actually now. I have shit to do. Okay, it's grind time. It's time to ball out and finish haunting adeline i'm gonna be so honest i'm so tired but there's no way i'm going to bed tonight without finishing this so let's go not day of meetings aid <laughs> being like wait you're him okay so much is happening but i can't tell you any of it because it's all spoilers but they're finding out the stuff about her great-grandmother and then zade is like undercover going into like some den i don't even know it's scaring me Ew, these men are so sick and twisted and gross i finished The cliffhanger? Fuck. I want to read the second one, but I'm not. I don't have it. And I don't want to read on my phone. Oh my god. The next book is literally going to be crazy. That was better than I expected. I'm glad I read it, but I'm also glad that I get to go to bed right now. Tomorrow I'm going to have to read an entire book. I'm not even bothering to start it tonight. So I'll see you then. Hey guys, it is the next day, the final day seventh day of this video and we are starting a brand new book and we are going to finish it today as the grand finale when choosing a book i was going back and forth on a few because i could have read a book on my phone i was going to read hooked by i don't know who it's by i heard that one's really good or i was between starting one of the this is a three book bind up twisted loyalties twisted emotions twisted pride from the kimura chronicle series i was gonna start this but then i was like do i want to start a new series to end the video and then i was like do i want to read on my phone to end the video it doesn't feel as real so i was like no i settled on reading the emperor which personally i just want to read this book this is the third book in the dark verse which i read earlier in this video i've read the first two books there's two after this so it's five books in the series i don't know if it's complete after that but this is dante's book which is tristan from the first book's brother they're not blood brothers but it's childhood best friends to lovers mafia i love the series i feel like i love this book i'm already so excited for it and that's giving me enough motivation to think that i can read this in one day despite it being kind of long i would do a part two to this video maybe a few months of reading more dark romances if you guys give me really good recommendations that you think i'd enjoy based on this video and knowing my preferences definitely leave those down below because i know a lot of you guys love dark romance but first today is the day that i have to binge this book and i'm determined to finish it today i will there's no ifs i'm going to finish it as the grand finale because if i get halfway through a book and the day ends I'm gonna be pissed oh my god we're getting the whole backstory this is going back in time to when amara's 10 years old and she's seeing Dante kissing someone else. And he's 15. I think they have a five-year age gap. She's 10 and she has a crush on him. <gasps> From what I'm inferring is that they were together during the first two books. But it was like low-key and I didn't know as I was reading it. Because they don't show it. They show like a lot of tension. But they don't show that they're actually together. So I'm excited to read the secretive what's going on really with that. See these books like the reason i love the men so much is because they are ride or dies for women and children like they will do whatever they want to like grown men in the mafia but if you cross a line with a woman or children they are so protective and defensive everything that i love 
in a book boyfriend okay we're getting the backstory of what happened to amara when she was 15 which i've been wanting to know since she like briefly mentioned it to marana i feel really bad for amara that it was worse than i thought like what happened to her why do the dads in every single romance book ever just fucking suck like every book ever the dad is always terrible now that she's getting sent away i'm hungry i'm gonna go eat but i think i'm like I'm almost halfway. I just realized that one thing that is different about this book is that it's from both point of views. I mean, it is third person, but we're in like Dante's third person for some chapters, and then we're in Amara's third person for some chapters, whereas the other two books was just Marana. So I kind of like that. Something I do really hate though is like the forced apart trope or like we can't be together like not in a forbidden way but in like there's someone being like you guys can't be together or else i'll kill your family or whatever the ultimatum is i hate that trope why do i want to cry though he just came to her and she's like crying being like you didn't fight for me you didn't fight for me and he's like i fight for you every day and she's like you just need to let me go <laughs> weeks became months months became years years became six six years became seven what kind of time jump is that and then we're at part three are we in the present now yeah okay so that whole half more than half the book is backstory and then this part is the present day finally i'm so excited right now because this is what i've been wanting to read about the whole book like yeah i liked their backstory but i would have liked a lot less of the backstory because i've been waiting to find out when he goes like undercover how she was gonna react and like why he was doing that and like what was going on during that time period because we had no idea in the other books where they both went they both went missing and now i'm finally there and i'm gonna find out not the trope this i was not expecting this trope i don't know how i feel about it i fucking hate all the tropes in this book like every single one is like in my least favorite tropes but i don't hate the book surprisingly because i do care about the characters we are getting more of the plot now i think the romance is done because you know when you just start getting bored because they're like happy together and you're like okay wrap it up that's where i'm at and now it's just like mafia shit mara's half sister gives me terrible vibes also i knew it i'm always right oh my god every book is proving my point of every dad in dark romance sucks okay i finished the emperor it kind of ended on a cliffhanger or like you can tell the story continues so i guess it's gonna continue in the other books but this is gonna be the last book of the video and i'm so happy i finished it in one day let's do like a final final wrap up we've reached the end of today's video reading dark romance for a week i thoroughly enjoyed myself i do feel like i need to read every cheesy cliche light-hearted easy fun read that's ever been written for the next like month just because i feel like there's like a heavy weight on my chest from like the content of these books you know like not only were these books dark in the themes but they deal with such like depressing topics you know when you watch like a really depressing documentary or you read a really depressing news story and you just feel like a weight on your chest that's how i felt all week and i lay in bed at night and i can't stop thinking about these books which is like a good thing and a bad thing because like i'm low-key going insane like i just need to read like something super light and fun i'm gonna rewatch heartstopper Heartstopper is literally the exact opposite of these books, and I'm gonna rewatch it because I need that right now. But let's do my overall thoughts, ratings, opinions, reviews. Even though I kind of already did. So I'll breeze through this, but first book, still beating. I gave this a three out of five. I'd recommend it, but I didn't love it. Definitely, definitely, definitely very graphic and traumatizing. The romance was super toxic, not my favorite. I didn't grow attached to it, but I like recommend it. Like I didn't hate it, you know? Then The Predator and the Reaper loved five stars. I don't know what I'd give each book individually but like together five stars this is basically one big book because there's no time jump beautiful amazing literally perfection exactly what i was looking for five stars to these and you know how hard i am with five stars like i only give like 10 five star ratings a year so then i tried hideaway i would give a one star I didn't even get to finish it but from what i read i just didn't like it at all i don't think i will ever return to this series it's not for me and that's okay not everything is gonna be for me and i understand that pleasantly surprised by this one haunting adeline i'm definitely gonna read the sequel maybe in a little bit like it did end on a cliffhanger so i do want to read it soon before i forget everything this was so dark and twisted and fucked up and i thought i would hate it it's a stalker romance i'd probably give this a 3.75 because it's memorable you know like this is what i'm gonna remember especially if i've read them back to back i feel like but it definitely wasn't like my ideal book i see what the hype is about like i can see how people would really really stand this book because it's like one of those addicting ones and then the last book i read in this video was the emperor 
which was the third book in the dark verse i think i'd give this one a three stars as well it was a lot of backstory i thought it could have been less backstory but i love these characters and i love this series so much that it didn't matter and i also hated like every trope in this book but somehow it's still three stars so that's how you know i really care about them because just so many tropes i didn't love and to me guys to me a three star rating is not bad i know like all of a sudden everyone like thinks three stars is bad to me that's good like on a scale like five is perfection four is loved and it's amazing three is it was good i would recommend it two not for me and one never again that's my scale so before you come for me and say three is low no it's not but yeah those are all the books i read this week i'd say it's a pretty successful week i hope you guys enjoyed with all that being said if you want to follow me on my other social medias they're all linked down below as always and i'll see you in my next video very very soon bye